Hey everybody, it's Patrick with P-Dubs Crypto World. Alright, so I've been getting a lot of response to the bag dilution method strategy and um, <clears throat> this is part of a release series that I'm giving out to participants in my Discord channel and subscribers of either YouTube or Patreon. So go below in my Discord channel, you'll find the, you'll find the link for my Discord channel and once you're in the channel, just uh, Call me out and uh, your subscriber, and when I get to adding them in there, I'll be able to add you so you can actually have the, the free access to all the file information, this, and all of the, the spreadsheet, the tutorial walkthrough, and, and everything. It's free of charge if, you, if you're on the YouTube, or if you want instant access to it without waiting for me to add you to the subscriber list then you can um, apply for the Patreon. It's also linked below. It's $1.99 on there. It helps me supply the channel or you're welcome to use any other means. And just reach out to me. You know, you don't have to do the Patreon, but the YouTube subscription, make sure that I know you're watching these videos so you know how to use this properly. I've had some instances where it has, uh, there's been some people who um, through execution didn't quite get what they were through the strategy and I want everybody to understand the strategy as they go through it so I am doing the walkthrough here on one of my bags I haven't been able to do anything with my account lately because I've been doing a lot of support so I'd like to get back from support to more of running mine and making my um, my account well I'd like to be able to make some money again on here, but I also don't want to leave anybody hanging, so that's why it's important for me to make a good quality video, and I am trying to do the best I can to make everybody understand. For me, it just kind of in my head clicks and makes sense all of it, so um, <clears throat> I'll obviously be um, looking for your feedback on what you think about my step-by-step -step walkthrough, my explanation. I want to hone this. The whole point of becoming part of my Discord is to hone the experience for everybody. So the verbiage that I use is universal and everybody understands. So the um, the step-by-step -step is easy enough for everybody to understand. So the, the guiding rules for... Um, the dilution is there and everybody can comprehend so you know it, it's not a get a bag cleared in a night type thing it, 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 it takes time and it takes dedication now some people say you can actually just short sell some of these things and go and make money over that yeah you may be able to do that until you get stuck in another bag or you know even worse some of the bags that you want to get rid of are just so deep that it doesn't make sense to take a drop so let's dive into it here. So right now we're looking at my my profit trailer. <clears throat> now I've been really goofing around with trying to um, well I guess you call it self sabotage. I'm trying to intentionally make my process and my strategy fail and it's not actively doing it very well and failing because it seems it does work but I'm trying to troubleshoot any kind of uh, flaws that there may be so in my pairs I I'm playing around with a BCC here and you know it's one that in my DCA I just really played around with it it's not really deep in the hole you know I'm 840 on my pending order cell in there so I, it's one that I'd already diluted there and you know I'll have a piece of it go sell maybe today <clears throat> so let's get into the the meat and potatoes of it so today I'm going to walk through and show you and tell you exactly what we're going to do with this right here this is the dash with my ethereum now it's negative 1322 so the first thing I want to do and you guys are going to get this updated spreadsheet Literally, I'll, every time I do this, I constantly update my spreadsheet. And then when I release the spreadsheet to everybody, I use my spreadsheet and then I remove my information from it so you have a clean spreadsheet. So you have what I use. And as I update them to the revisions, you know, this is version 1.02. It will be 1.03 when it is released. <clears throat> so 
let's just get into the the scary Harry carry of it all so I am going to take my information that I'm looking for I want to know how many coins and there is 0.118 of the coins so I'm going to go ahead and put in 0.118 of the coins and then I want my buy price per coin my buy price per coin is going to be this right here this is the information that I am taking from profit trailer which has already taken and calculated what my average is now if I was in my DCA and you know I have DCA it a few times it's still going to be this same number here because that's always going to be the same the price that I paid for the coin is always going to be what I paid for the coin so this is 0.835 let's go here uh, 0.835 uh, 01502 01502 alright it tells me that I have spent 0 0.0985317 and that's actually what I have over here so I'm in that range now this percentage loss this doesn't actually calculate into anything this is for your so when you're doing in a spreadsheet and you're doing this other information you can just kind of look at relative information so I'm gonna put in there anyway I'm negative 13.22 and now I go down here and I have to consider what I want to break it into how many pieces do I want to break this into <clears throat> so I am going to me personally I am going to look at what is my normal buy amount right now I have my buy amount set for 0 0.035 because it's one percent of my account currently so that's what I'm buying so my new buy cost my new buy bag down here this is what I'm looking at when I want to figure out how big I am making my purchase to be so when I want to be at 0 0.035 I can see I'm actually way below that so I don't need to break it into this many pieces here so I'm gonna break it into 20 pieces and then when I look at this I am going to see that this number is not quite what I want it to be. It, it doesn't make sense right now. Now, this is where you can understand what you have to do. See this number here, the new buy price per coin? This needs to be taken care of two times. The first time is to get an estimate of what you are going to be investing in. So, first off, I'm going to use this price here as my as my estimate. This is what the asking price currently, the bid price for that coin is at this percent negative. <clears throat> so that's what I am going to enter in as my asking price. That, I'm going to say that's what I'm buying it for. And of course it doesn't want to paste it in there for me. So I will just point seven two six twenty nine point seven two six twenty nine point seven two six two nine all right now we can see that changes a lot of different things so that means right now that if I bought it if I diluted it by 18 times and I only broke it into 20 pieces that it would give me this much that I have to buy so I don't want to spend 0 0.077 I want just around half of that so I'm gonna break this into 40 pieces instead and 40 pieces is gonna give me a 0.385 as my buy my total buy bag cost at this percent now I mean at this buy price okay so if you're following me now that means this is my estimated price at this number at these two numbers control this price here well these three numbers control this price so I'm gonna break it into 40 times which means I'm gonna have to sell this coin 40 times with one of the shards in order to break even for that that bag and it means that I am gonna buy 18 times as much as that big that little shard is so my shard is this right here 0 
and it's also right here and it's used for the calculations. So that shard is 0 0.00295. I am going to buy 18 times that much, which is this number right here, amount to buy. <clears throat> so I can place my manual buy order for, for this. And then that'll leave me with this amount of it, 0 0.05605. That'll be the total amount. And the percentage of that bag will be 5.26. That, that's how big the shard is going to be, the ratio of the shard into the new coin. Also, likewise, it's going to let me know the demographics. <clears throat> so, now that I have figured out all this cost down here as an estimate, then I can see my numbers here. So, my new average coin cost will end up being 0.73201. Two, three, seven. Now this is not written in stone right now because there's no guarantee I'm buying at this price. So what I want to do is I'm using this price here as an estimate of the current to tell me if I did this strategy with these numbers it would drop the new coin drop instead of coming in at zero and then gaining up I would come in at 0.78 I'd come in at about 80% of a percent negative, 0.8 negative. Now that is not affected by the fees. So if you have a a 15 a 0.15% fee or a 0.25% fee for buying or selling, that's on top of that. But I want this to be under one. Me personally, I'm not going to risk going going high. But I like to have mine closer to 0.5. So I'm actually going to kick this one up to 50% to 50 here. And I have a little play room down here. So I'm going to kick this up to 20. And when I'm at 20, it gives me close to my buy price there that I, I'm fine with. So I'm actually going to make that 21. And I'm in that same range that I want to be. So it's all about adjusting your numbers to get the number that you will are willing to pay and the percent you are willing to be negative to drop when you buy it so that's going to be an estimate for my drop price <clears throat> all right now we have done the calculation portion and now what we want to do is we need to go through and figure out how we are going to do this now the next step after our calculation is execution we now need to create the shard. Now what we're going to do here is we are going to go to our do 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 we are going to go to our exchange. On our exchange we have to take and place this execution order. See this price here? We don't care about that. We are going to look at this price right here is going to be what we're going to end up looking for at the end but for selling our execution right now we want to pick what our quantity that we are going to sell and the price at which we are going to sell it everybody seems to be doing really well at grasping the quantity and the sell price because I had 0.118 I am selling 0.11564 so it's going to be approximate you need to make sure that whatever it is so I'm going 11564 as my amount point one one five six four it won't take one one five six four so I will go to point one one five now it does adjust my numbers just a little bit at the end but that's okay because we're within the range of what we want to be but now we have set that and now we're going to set our um, quantity to sell we've already got so our sell price is going to be eight four three three six five seventeen eight four three three six five seventeen we can't do seventeen so we're just gonna set it at the um, eight four three three six make sure that we have the correct number eight four three three six five seventeen so we are actually going to make it three seven because we're rounding up now I can go ahead and create my um, create my pending order here now it's going to take some time for that to go to profit trailer now it doesn't matter how long it takes to go to profit trailer in order to see that we know what our numbers are 
in general here. So now, <coughs> having done this, we need to buy. We need to actually buy some orders. So for this, I'm going to, for the purposes of this, like I'm not necessarily going to miss on this here, but I recommend anytime you can, um, just make sure you're paying attention to what's going on in your profit trailer. Now, one thing that I have re understood, I currently am not using the DCA. Like my DCA is set for, um, I am buying it. Let's see, I have it set to buy zero times, max buy amount zero times. Because the reason is, I don't want this information to pop in the profit trailer and then automatically be incorrect. So I'm going to have my hot config ready. And that's dash ETH underscore bought price equals. Now I don't know what that is yet. So I'm only going to get this ready for when I do this. So I am going to now go back to here and I'm going to buy some more dash. I need to buy the dash based on the numbers that I have calculated here already. I need to buy 0 0.04956 point zero four nine five six and it won't take that so point zero four nine five we're just gonna call it point zero five and we're going to try to get us a decent price and there's not a big discrepancy in numbers here so I'm just gonna say, call it six seventy five and now I'm going to say that I'm going to buy at that price I need a zero in front of that so I'm going to buy at that price and now I've got an order in here at 0.72675 now <clears throat> shouldn't take too long for this order to process because there's a good amount of volume for 806 ETH on the day so we will set and wait for this to go so 0.72675 we are going to enter in here as point point seven two six seven five and that's going to calculate our number so now we know what our number for our average coin value is going to be here if we buy at this price and since that's what I'm willing to pay and I'm the next highest when it buys then I've got my my price so I like to just enter that in there so I can zero point seven seven three one six seven one one four now I've got what my line of code is and we can see here that somebody's already bought some of mine but not much at all so we will continue to wait for this to go through so while we are doing that, I will, while we're waiting for that to go through, I will talk to you about the importance of your tabs down here. Every time that you do this, you will, I'm going to create a new tab, and I'm going to say move it, and I'm going to create a copy, and I'm going to pick it right after the record sheet. And it's going to create a new tab with this information in it, exact information, because it's really important to have that information. So, and then we're going to rename that tab dash, because that's the coin that we are, are doing. You actually want it to be after the record sheet. Okay, so we're still waiting for that to buy, so we're going to go to the record sheet. It looks like almost all of it is purchase now so we'll wait for the rest of it to go through but on the record sheet we're now going to put in some information here so I am going to put what the coin is now this information is dragged from this calculation first sheet so right now I'm gonna go ahead and 
kill my profit trailer because I don't want it to bring up information before it's ready to be processed. So I don't want it to pop up and say it's negative a coin when it is not negative that coin or positive. The last thing I want is to for a profit trailer to read it and it's not prepared because profit trailer doesn't calculate the way that we are calculating. Its math is derived on a different system. So it looks at the old price of the last bought coin instead of the last bought average coin. And we're not looking for that. We're looking for the average price of our shard, which isn't representative of what it says. So when it calculates the information in together, it does not bring you the right information in most cases. So we are going to go ahead and make sure we are documenting all of our information. So we put our coin in here, the dash, uh, excuse me, our dash Ethereum, and then we are going to bring our information down from above. All of this information is above it and goes in that particular cell. Now I'm also going to be releasing a document that tells you what exactly each cell is meaning and representative of. So we are going to, this one is 0 0.118, this one is 0 0.83501502, and we don't care about the purchase date, it's there just for formality. Then the cost of dilute, 0 0.00197064, and amount per cell 0 0.00236 and we have chopped it into 50 and we have sold it zero times and we are diluting it by 21 portions now our sell price is 0.84336517 and we have created a sheet for it now I have all that information and I am going here to acknowledge that I have bought this coin which means that it is ready to ready to buy. That means I have taken the, sh the, the shank of it, the little shard of it now. These I have created shards for and not went through. So I have went through a lot of these and since I've updated it I just haven't been through this whole process yet. So I have now bought this shard and we look over here my my order has been placed and you can see where my my buy order is here so now I have my price that I've created so I can now go and reopen my profit trailer now you don't have to take this long to do the profit trailer you just have to make sure you keep an eye on what's going on with your numbers and remember this is the new coin average cost that you're gonna set in the hot config so the first thing I'm going to do when this comes up and allows me to go to the hot config, I'm going to set my price there that I had indicated. And I just set it, and then I will see if the DCA will, will tell me it has now set it at that. And you now see that it's reading my dash. It's point negative nine four. Point yeah, negative point nine four and it's saying that that 7114 was the price that I had bought it at that was the average cost I had set and you can see that my numbers are aligned with what I'm actually put in there so the .94 is what it automatically popped in at and I said that it was going to drop .672 and some change and my particular server has a .25 so the fluctuation in the price and the fact that I bought it just a little bit lower and it's moving in there I'm, I'm right on where I want to be and I'm under that 1% which is optimal and you know will have a better chance of selling as long as I'm not buying on the downslope. Now I would not normally buy this right here. I would be waiting for it to dip down. <clears throat> That's what I do. I merely made a purchase here because I'm wanting to show you exactly the process of doing this. All right, so now once we've done that, you're going to wait until this sells, and when it sells, you're going to go to your your orders here, and you can see where I've got an open order for Dash. Then you're going to cancel that, 
and when you cancel it you need to make sure that you set the price the original price that you had here in profit trailer once again hot config this price in after you have canceled your pending order because if not you will get those bogus numbers again so hot config this price and you will be good so at this point now we've executed we've created one we're seeing it go down we'll see that it will eventually sell and then we see how to pull it out of the order now go into the spreadsheet that's where we go to the record sheet then we are going to take and say okay we've sold one of these now we're going to go back and we're going to do it again except it's going to give us the next sell amount so now we're when we do that we'll go here and the sell amount will be the total that we put in there and that will break off another shard off of what would be this so if you see 0.114 is what we did there when we release that it gives us 0.114 and then we are going to do a sell order for 0.113 and we can probably even change a little more if we want to break it down even a little further but 0.113 is what we're going to place our sell order for and it's going to break us off another one of uh, another one of those so take that into consideration and if you have any other questions feel free to ask I want to make sure everybody understands what we're doing here so um, just join the discord reach out to me um, there are others that are grasping this concept as well and let's kill the bags alright we'll catch you next time thanks